of Egypt. To me, relics of Egypt was a continuation of Cecil B. Mill's Ten Commandments. And then he went on to win three more consecutively, that would be 59, 60, 61, and 62. But in your uncle's band, there was a, an individual who, to me, is the greatest individual in the history of carnival throughout the world because he's the first and only person ever to produce a costume that transcends all civilizations which is really the concern of all men stipulated when the renowned English poet Keats said, Duty is truth, truth is duty. That is all we know on earth and all we need to know. Well, the individual, Terence Eagle, more of the renown of Terry, produced a costume called Duty in Perpetuity. Obviously, it would be difficult, nigh nearly impossible, to produce a costume like that 
he may have read 10 years, but to me, that where we went, I don't want to say wrong, but we didn't try at least to keep up with what that fellow was saying, that the most important thing on the earth is UK. That is what I think we have lost. back into the arena because no one I think would like to go to Madrid go into the bull ring and then you are told that the best bull fighter is facing the bulls which is what we are already seeing here people come to Trinidad and Minshall is not producing a ban and he's alive people come here and Evelyn is not on stage and he's alive comes back again from what I mentioned. I don't think you'll see it. I heard stories of the thing with a sheet being the metal craftsmanship, everything used to play face, you know, from screen printing to leather craft to mm -hmm. papier mache to macrame to, you know, all, all of these crafts. You know, it was like um, a university or so, a repository of yeah, creative yeah. genius. Yeah, that is where <laughs> when you come to decide to play the realms of fancy parts and film, the song that. Call it hot curry that you learn with you to play beauty in perpetuity. So you have to give something better on in Bullard Street that is there, even I understand, to sit down and be making these circles and circles. And I don't mean 15 Bullard Street alone, but all who came out of 15 Bullard Street, like the young boy Steve Derek. Who's, a, who's the main product of your father? So that, that's what I told you in the beginning of it. I really don't know. 